Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday. Oh, no, it's not either. <laughs> okay, so I forgot what day it was. It's Friday, August 28th. It's 2.07 p.m. All righty. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have two more food recalls, but they're not major. Or they could be the first one. Okay, the, <laughs> I can't. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay. First one has to do with your little doggies. And don't you know, it's all about the salmonella again. I smell a rat. Do y'all? Dog food recall issued due to possible salmonella contamination. Notice they put possible, not for sure, but possible. There is a risk to humans from handling the contaminated products. There is an adorable corgi on this picture. Uh, I could use him as my <laughs> custom thumbprint. All right, a nationwide voluntary recall has been issued by Sunshine Mills Incorporated due to possible salmonella contamination in some of the company's dog food products. Nature's Menu Super Premium Dog Food with a blend of real chicken and quail. I had not even heard of that is being recalled voluntarily, the company announced on Monday. Salmonella can affect animals eating the products, and there is risk to humans from handling contaminated products. Yeah, I always take my hand and scoop my dog's bowl, dog's dog food out of its container and dump it in his little bowl and then... Lick my fingers. Don't you? Not. I use a scooper and it never touches my hands. Seriously. <sighs> I mean, I, that just killed me when I saw that. There, there's a risk to humans from handling contaminated products. Especially if they have not thoroughly washed their hands after having contact with the products or any surfaces exposed to these products, according to a company announcement posted on the FDA.gov. A pet with a salmonella infection might have symptoms like diarrhea or bloody diarrhea, fever, and vomiting. People affected by salmonella may develop symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or bloody diarrhea, abdominal cramping, and fever. The recalled products, according to Sunshine Mills, were distributed in retail stores nationally and can be identified with codes UPC 701-551-4300. And UPC 701-551-4365. And there's a whole bunch of more numbers here. I will leave the link in the description box. So if you feed your dog, let's see, it tested a sample of a three-pound bag of dog food. And it tested positive. Okay, chicken and quail, and it's nature's menu with a blend of real chicken and quail. I'll put the link in the description box. Now, this one, this one is, is going to kill you. 
No, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Frito Lay just recalled a bunch of potato chips. Now they'd be messing with our potato chips, man. Listen to this. Here's the full list by Mike Wayner. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Frito Lay has been forced to recall a huge number of its potato chip products because they were put in the wrong bags. The recall, which affects barbecue chips and variety packs, contains unlabeled allergens, including milk. All right, I'm, seriously, this is not a big deal unless you really hate barbecue. You really love your barbecued flavor, and you're about to enjoy a bag of potato chips flavored like barbecue sauce, and you rip it open, and what do you find inside? Ranch. Now, here's the big deal. You may have a child, or yourself, or your husband, whoever, who's allergic to milk. And the bag does not say contains milk. And you are very diligently or diligent to watch all products that say contains milk because your loved one can break out in terrible hives or even possibly have an anaphylactic reaction to milk products. It's very rare, but it could happen. The amount of milk that goes into the tiny amount of flavoring in a bag of potato chips is small, but it doesn't take very much for some people. So it really is important, okay? It says the recall which affects barbecue chips and variety packs, contains unlabeled allergens, including milk. If you have any of the potentially mislabeled chips, avoid eating them and contact the company for a refund. Oh, it's time to get up. I've been up since like 12, 15. Yeah. The lady next door, she's not staying next door. They moved her downstairs to the second floor. I kind of thought so. Another good reason not to believe rumors. Another good reason not to spread them either. Anyway, the family's been working very, very hard trying to get everything out before the end of the month. Um, what else do I need to tell you? The product recalls just keep on coming. You thought things would calm down a bit after all those peaches and onions got recalled, didn't you? <laughs> we'll think again because it's 2020 and nothing is as it seems. And boy, is that the truth. And that includes the chips found in a whole bunch of Frito-Lay lay bags. No, seriously. The chips in a variety of sizes of barbecue-flavored potato chips are literally not what they seem. Because they're not the right kind of chips at all, as the company reveals in a new bulletin posted by the FDA, and that is a link. The bags being recalled don't actually have barbecue chips in them, and as such, they may contain allergens, specifically milk, that aren't declared on the label. I will leave a link in the description box. It is so lovely bringing you yet another food recall. Hmm. Have a beautiful day. Love you all. God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later.